colon. A colon can be used to introduce an explanation, to separate independent clauses, to introduce an example, to introduce a list in a sentence, and a colon can also be used before direct speech. An example of a colon used to introduce an explanation is She had one problem. There was no way she could finish her homework in time. In this sentence, the general idea is given, followed by the colon, and then the specific explanation is given. The colon in this sentence can also be used to show emphasis. An example of a colon used to separate independent clauses is They will not make it home in time. The roads are very icy. The colon is used instead of a semicolon between the independent clauses. The reason for this is because the second sentence explains the first sentence. So they will not make it home in time and the reason for this is because the roads are very icy. An example of a colon used to introduce an example is If she was going to make the cake then she needed all the ingredients. For example, flour, butter, eggs and milk. An example of a colon being used to introduce a list in a sentence is I like to play all kinds of sports. Football, basketball, tennis and golf. Remember, when we have a list in a sentence, we always use a comma to separate the items in the list. An example of a colon used before direct quote is She shouted, get back to class. A comma can also be used before the direct quote. There's no difference whether you use a colon or a comma. However, make sure you remember to always start the quote with a capital letter.